What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Black Ops Cold War. And today Treyarch started talking about a lot of the settings coming to the game. We're going to be able to test out a lot of this during the beta this weekend and of course in the cross-platform beta next week. I will link this article down in the description if you want to read over it. But one of the best things they talked about today that's going to be available in the settings of course is the ability to have your field of view slider. Field of view slider will be an option on all platforms no matter if you play on console or PC. This is a big move in my opinion. A lot of people were, were requesting this, a lot of people wanted this, and I'm really glad to see a field of view slider on console, uh, on both consoles and of course uh, on PC as well. Also this uh, during this article they talked about the different ways you can minimize your HUD. They're going to give you the options to toggle the compass, enemy and ally health bars, hit markers, crosshair uh, indicators, player names, and button, uh, button hints. This is up to you how much you see on your HUD, which is a very, uh, very good thing in my opinion as well because less clutter on the hood is always a good thing uh, in my opinion and for the first time in black ops multiplayer they're bringing a ping system kind of like this kind of reminds me of the ping system in battlefield 5 if you did play uh, battlefield 5 it says they're adding a ping system as a feature across all multiplayer modes allowing you to ping objectives loots location and enemies for your teammates during a match for team death match to fire team dirty bomb you can use the ping system to communicate non verbally with your teammates for increased coordination this is pretty nice uh, especially if you don't have a headset uh, you can go ahead and just kind of ping where an enemy is that way you can let your teammates know that you're playing with if you're playing with a, in a lobby of just random people this is also going to be very helpful in my opinion anyway guys leave me a comment with your thoughts and of course if you liked it hit the like if you hadn't subscribed yet please do so if you are a subscriber make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live and be sure to check out everything down in the description gt racing the community discord and of course my twitter and i'll catch you all next time Peace.